Master of Architecture, we can program UTM uh, dan juga peserta-peserta yang dihormati sekalian. Saya Kamsia daripada Sekolah Pengajian Suaza ingin mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada semua yang sudi hadir pada pro virtual program preview bagi Master of Architecture kita pada pagi ini. Uh, terlebih dahulu sebelum saya teruskan, uh, saya ingin menyampaikan salam uh, daripada Dr. Noraliani Alias. Uh, Timbalah pengurusi bahagian program pesisir dan khas kerana uh, dan beliau minta um, maaf kerana tidak dapat hadir kerana perlu uh, apa kerana telah menerima jemputan sebagai juri uh, pelajar di fakulti awam uh, lebih awal sebelum ini. Okey, uh, untuk makluman semua, uh, Master of Architecture di UTM ini uh, bukan sahaja ditawarkan uh, bagi program perdana uh, dan tetapi ia juga ditawarkan bagi program PCC atau offshore. Jadi untuk makluman semua, semua program pasca siswa Zah UTM adalah program uh, sepenuh masa. Cuma kaedah pelaksanaan sahaja berbeza di mana bagi pelajar perdana ia dijalankan uh, pada uh, weekdays manakala bagi weekend program dijalankan pada hujung minggu. Dan selanjutnya ia sesuailah untuk diambil oleh golongan uh, uh, calon-calon yang bekerja. Okey, tanpa melengahkan masa, saya menjemput uh, arkitek Nur Syahidah Azili, koordinator Master of Architecture Weekend Program daripada Faculty of Build, Environment and uh, Surveying untuk menyampaikan tanda beliau. Silakan. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih sekali diucapkan kepada Menteri Majlis, uh, Puan Kamsia uh, dan kepada Puan Hazida juga. Terima kasih kerana memberi peluang kepada pihak kami program Master of Architecture untuk menjalankan virtual program review pada pagi ini. And uh, Assalamualaikum everyone, uh, terima pakar-pakar pelajar kita insyaAllah. Uh, semoga dengan perkongsian ini, you all mendapat lebih banyak maklumat dan input about this special project. Maaf, ada banyak sedang. Alright, maaf. Uh, it's landscape. Okay, mulakan. Uh, pertama sekali saya nak ucapkan selamat datang. Welcome to University Technology Malaysia. We have the main campus, uh, UKM Johor Bahru dengan keluasan 1,144 hektar. Uh, we also have the original uh, UTM which is located in Kuala Lumpur where the area currently is 35 hectares. And we also have another uh, branch UTM Pago yang mana keluasannya adalah sebanyak 50 hektar. <coughs> so uh, saya kongsikan sedikit mengenai visi, misi, uh, tema dan juga core values for program of architecture for a faculty of good environment and surveying. Our vision is to be the faculty of pride for education and profession development in the environment and our mission is to that we strive to develop professional to our responsible to keeping sustainable the environment through synergy partnership with the industry, professionals, bodies, and also alumni. And our, our team is professional built environment education for sustainable development. And the core value values is creative, progressive, collaborative, inclusive, and also sensitive. In faculty alumina, we have uh, like at the moment, we have 16 blocks. And back in 2018, uh, we have gone through a Synergy 4.0, where faculty alum uh, has combined together with faculty of Geo, Informasi, and Harta Tanah. And now, uh, under FABU itself, we have four center of excellence, 20 research groups, nine undergraduate programs, and 33 postgraduate programs. So in the FABU itself, we have few uh, fields, six fields in total, which is architecture, landscape architecture, urban regional and plan, urban and regional planning, quantity surveying, real estate, and also geo information. In architecture itself, and uh, in all other departments, uh, we have few professors, uh, Professor Madia, and so on. But in for architecture itself specifically, we have currently two professors, three Professor Madias and 17 uh, senior lecturers. So in total, in FABU, we have 
162 academic staff combined together with 92 staff from PN, uh, PDP, PNP. So this is the organization chart of Pabu. Uh, the uh, first in history that we have Dean uh, from uh, uh, Dean Wanita, which is uh, uh, Professor Surveyor, Dr. Herring Tabiti Ali. And we have a few other deputy, active deputy, and so on. As you can see in the screen, I, did, I don't think I have to go, uh, go details on this specific uh, slides. And please be informed that this University Technology Malaysia has been ranked and as a worldwide, and we have received a worldwide recognition, uh, ranked 39th uh, in the university ranking in Asia, ranked 191 world university rankings, and so on. And, and not to forget, uh, the Senibina itself, architecture, is has been listed as, as the top 100 in the world, and also top one in Malaysia. So we, for bachelor degree, we have done programs consists of 1,765 students at the moment. And for postgraduate students, we have 518 students, uh, active students at the moment. So this is our curriculum, uh, our curriculum, uh, why, I mean, we have uh, courses and trainings program that we designed to suit the ever changing landscape and needs of the industry. And, and currently our graduate employability percentage is 91.54%. As uh, stated on the screen, uh, on the latest date is, is June 2021. And this year, 2023, recently the uh, percentage has raised up uh, more than 95%. Uh, you have, I know most of you probably haven't come, haven't been to UTM Joe Baru, but this is the mapping and the uh, mapping of the pub itself. Uh, where, uh, we have few blocks, uh, B05, uh, B02 is where is the location of our studio in, in uh, JB campus. And this is um, the center of um, excellence, which is Kalam. And the, uh, uh, which is born from architecture program actually, and this uh, this uh, COE has documented more than six hundred major drawings uh, uh, from the existence of, of this uh, COE. So you might be considering why you should enroll with this weekend program, right? So, so this weekend program is accredited by Malaysian Qualification Agency, which is MQE. And this university, University of Technology Malaysia, is listed in the QS World, rank, World University Ranking. We also have a structured program with the flexible classes during the weekends. And we providing you for the lecture and so on with the qualified lecturers and professors in research and academic fields. But for architecture program, we also bring in professionals to share their knowledge with the students. And, and we also offer a competitive fees package and payable by installment. So I would like to share a few feedbacks uh, from the employer. One of our students um, was working with Dr. Architect Ken Yang, a very famous architect in the world. Right? And from his uh, uh, feedbacks, uh, he says that our students who worked with him had acquired strong knowledge in, build, in building by law, contractual methods, fire, and other skills. He also says that uh, uh, the students has recognized for her leadership skill, capable of leading groups, and she also able to continue her career growth because she devoted herself in balancing her work and study. So we can see that it, it is quite a positive feedback from the famous architect. And not to forget, uh, feedback from the students as well. But she says that source of inspiring to achieve my goal while still practicing in architect firm, exposed to diversity of knowledge, gained from various background of lecturers and this, and good platform for my staff and peers to expand knowledge in the same field. 
So for this postgraduate program, you will be uh, um, gone through this journey. First, you need to go for the registration before that is the application course. And then we will be having a new student briefing on what to do, what to expect and so on. And then you will be uh, having a studio and lectures during the weekend. And then you will be, we will assign to you with the assignments and project assignment for the other courses. Uh, projects, of course, for the studio. And then site visit as usual, that is our lab. And then presentations and report writing, uh, the uh, critic sessions. And then you need to sit for the exams, exams for the studios and also exams for the other courses. And then you need to take these criticisms, thesis and dissertations. Only then you can uh, graduate. And for this Master of Architecture, the study durations is five semester or normal semester, including two short semesters, where for the normal semester normally is about 14 to 18 weeks, and then for the short semester is eight weeks. Uh, this is the learning facilities uh, in our faculty, because as what I have mentioned just now, we invite other professionals also as the a lecturer for the program. We have a part time staff, which is the practicing architect. Up and duty, we have various, but from the previous semester, we have appointed four architects and we also have full time lecturer based in Kuala Lumpur, uh, three from space program, one from uh, fatigue programs. And in total, uh, teaching this uh, master of architecture offshore programs, we have 20 uh, lecturers. So this is a listed uh, uh, lecturers who have experience uh, teaching this master of architecture offshore program, and they have they are they have their own expertise in their field and so on, as what you can see on the screen. Some on the sustainable architecture, some on the practice and management, some on the heritage and conservations, uh, on the beam, on the social culture, ethnography, and so on. Other than that, uh, we also provide a student's portal. You can also go to the library for the digital resources, and then we also provide OLC uh, and so on. Not to forget is the um, uh, services from the ICT where you can uh, benefit that uh, softwares and so on as a student. So in terms of the academic related sources, uh, we have, you, you can always come and visit the SBS for the updates on uh, things that are happening for the schools. There's a lot of forms and so on. And for the PCC program, you can go to UTM PCC uh, for further information and also resources over there. We also have a faculty and school website. This I will share at the end of our presentations. Okay. Uh, we, you can can browse through the websites, look at the previous works by the uh, alumni and so on. Also, we also uh, exhibit uh, uh, current student works uh, from the highest marks, uh, medium range, and also lowest mark. For the uh, for this program, it is considered as a career focused courses because uh, this is the only part for land part one architectural working graduates to continue their career and, and uh, advancement through lifelong learning experience. And now we are taking steps to improve the quality of education through a new program to produce quality skilled professionals and human capital in the built environment practices. So why you, should, why you should go for this offshore program in higher education and why we offer this program? It is because uh, this program uh, is, is important in meeting current and future human capital demands for the country, because the offshore program to address the national agenda to invite more graduates in the in the field of architecture, because the populations of uh, people in uh, Malaysia uh, in terms of the ratio of the architects is less, very less, because most of them when they graduate they don't go for the factory and so on, they do other things. And other than that is because we want to su supply the current and future shortage of architecture to train personnel for the building industry in Malaysia. 
And this is the, the only offshore weekend program for the architecture degree program in Malaysia. You cannot find this program in any other university. Only UTM offer this program. And the shortage of place for bachelor holder to, to continue the studies due to limited seats in local university and high cost abroad, and also non recognition of school outside Malaysia. And also to provide alternative platform towards career development in architecture. And also we are offering this program towards experience based learning in contrast to academic based learning. So it is more exciting actually for this program because you are very close to the industry, you can have a direct um discussions with other consultants and so on so in terms of these uh, the opportunity and strength of these offshore programs for the learners the number one is, is that uh most of you are matched um, individuals you have a, a relevant workplace experience we have worked directly with the professional and in close contact with the industry you have a lot of resource for practical based knowledge sharing and also office industry as studio and also laboratory. We do have, uh, we, we introduced a new concept for studio learning, which is quite different from what we are practicing in Perdana program. But before that, for the program objective is that we want to provide high quality continuing architecture education for working students Thanks, and also to establish high quality architecture training programs for uh, to meet the needs for Lampak 2 and also to provide avenue for higher professionals architecture education through scholarly research practice and done. So we have four program educational objectives for this program. The first one is on knowledgeable and competent in line with the professional qualifications of board architect leadership, scholarly through research and practice and able to solve problems critically and analytically and creatively based on scientific facts and thought ideas. The PO number three is professional, ethical, responsible and responsive to the value of humanity and sustainability. The PO4 is on effectively communicate and contribute to working teams and compete in various local and global markets. So for this uh, MR program and offshore, we, of course, there's a difference. Uh, for program program, the maximum credit allowed for, for each semester is, is 21 credits. While for the offshore program, the maximum credits allowed is only 12 credits. Minimum credit, for offshore program, uh, for program program is 12, but for offshore program, the minimum credit is two. And the required minimum CPA for graduation is 2.0. It is the same for both programs, for Rana and offshore. And the normal durations to complete uh, for the Purana program is four semester only, but for this offshore program, it is five semester plus two short semester. The difference between a program and offshore programs in terms of the focus area is also uh, different because for the program, for the program program, it is more focusing on the academic requirement where we introduce and put a lot of research, the, the theoretical explorations, and, and the, it involves publication and so on. And all this uh, focus area is because we want to provide for the industry of the future. And for the Purana program, previously we are offering 72 credits. But at the moment, we have uh, transferred to 60 credits. And this Purana program has been accredited by Lembaga. But for the offshore program, the focus is different because we are providing and we are trying to provide based on the industrial needs. And it is more comprehensive architectural practice where we involve a lot of technical uh, applications and so on. And also teach you about the professional management exposure in the office. And all this is because we want to make sure that the candidates uh, is, is in response to the current and surrounding industry. And for this offshore program, we are offering 72 credits uh, curriculum, the old curriculum, not yet except the 60 uh, credit curriculum. And this part of this um, master of architecture offshore is not yet accredited by the Lembaga of Architect Malaysia, but the model, everything, uh, the subject is the same as what uh, has been offered in Perdana before. 
So the general principles on the staff students meeting hour is that uh, it's during weekend. The meeting time will be held during the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And carried out with a different length of meetings depends on the credit hour. Uh, for example, it's about 6 to 14 hours per week. And then for the quarter three examination meeting are conducted between 5 to 8 times each semester, depending on each course credit. For design course, is a total of 15 meetings is set. And schedule may be adjusted so that the concurrent and similar to the equivalent production design studio. And also we will uh, alternate somehow with uh, uh, other courses. And compulsory university courses are offered in short semester and students can only register uh, for offer six credit. For offshore uh, students, uh, uh, you have a real life experience and exposure to architecture practice in their workplace. And for part-time students and March, uh, professional architect are appointed as your second supervisor. Uh, mostly we will appoint your uh, principal. But if you have difficulties or whatever, we can help you to appoint the course supervisor. And some percentage of marks will be given uh, in the courses as due design to ensure that the students apply their work experience in a given assignment and, and project. <clears throat> and for these main components, we have university courses, uh, university subject, where you need to take two credit. The core courses is 60 credit, elective courses is three credits, and the dissertations is six credit is six credits, where in total is 72 credits. This is the main uh, the list of courses. Okay. Uh, uh for university subject, we have a few. You have you need to list, you need to take one, but for the first subject, all of them that you need to take it. But for the elective subject, subject you can choose either spacing tab, program outreach, grid building, advanced architecture computing. It is depending on what subject you're offering for that kind of semester. And not to forget is your project dissertations, which is where we call it as a design thesis dissertation. This is related to the uh, design thesis actually. <clears throat> And for the learning concept, this is a, diff a bit different because we are offering a, the, the program and pedagogy of this campus studio and practice studio. With the campus studio, uh, students will get the benefits to the structures. Uh, and it helps in developing intellectual design thinking by increasing theoretical input, implementations of theory, and so on. And we also have a practice studio where your office is actually part of the studio. So this concept is an ATA concept learning in partnership with office practice. And, this, and it is more realistic practice and learning experience through apprenticeship, consultations with uh, employer as a second supervisor. And also you have a direct contact with the construction from, uh, uh, from the construction industry with the consultants, engineers, and also the suppliers. <clears throat> and for this, uh, the studio and practice studio, this, this is how we applied, where the practice studio will be happening during your working day. Uh, you need to clear with your bosses and so on. And the campus studio will happen on this Saturday and Sunday, where you will meet, you will be meeting your studio master and lecturers. So for this design studio structure, it is different from what have been practiced in other school, uh, because we have three semester work we call as a pre -thesis. It is, uh, we call that we consider this as a stage one, one A, one B, and one C. And after that, you will be transferring into the final semester where we call this as a stage two. So, for, for the first stage, okay, uh, we are offer you need to take all these three either the social culture, urbanism, or sustainable technologies. It, it is, you, you don't have to take it in sequence. Uh, you can take in whichever we are we are offering. It depends on the manpower uh, and the requirements for that uh, semester. And for this sustainable technology, mostly it is all about the sustainable building design, building technology, the efficiency, climate response, green building, and so on. For the social so for the social culture, it is uh, more into impact of culture, uh, social economy, politics, the heritage. Regionalism and um, others. For urbanism, is about 
understanding of macro and micro context and all urban fabric contextual relationships, urban de development and impact on the community and so on. So once you have taken all these three practices, you can choose which one is the best. And then you can bring that project and you can develop further into your thesis project. And then you can refine, of course, because during the first stage, it's more like on the ideations of your project, more on the research part and so on. But on stage two, we will be uh, looking into the technology, technicality, buildability, uh, logically, and others. So for this stage two, uh, we will be look, looking into this technical solution, structure, uh, construction and materials, the building services, the integration design solution. We will also be looking into the practice and management, the building regulations, authority requirements, and others. So if you are interested to apply, of course, you can apply uh, this uh, program because we open twice a year. February and September, and this is the list of documents that you need for the applications in the website, uh, where, where you are required to upload your bachelor or master uh, qualifications, your academic transcript, your sponsor letter if applicable, your reference statements, your uh, um, my card size photograph, proof of working experience, copy of your ICs, and proof of processing fees. That is the website as uh, appeared in your screen where you can drop by and, and do the applications. But for these architecture programs, uh, once you apply, we will email, we will email you for the for these additional documents because these additional uh, documents are required for the interview, which is your curriculum duty, your SPM certificate, uh, certificate of Bachelor of Science in Architecture Part One and diploma certificate if you have any and your portfolio of part one during your bachelor of science in architecture and we want to see also your working experience portfolio and not to forget is your employer confirmation letter because we want to ensure that you have a principal that can help to be your co-supervisor but if you don't have any don't worry we have a solution for you So for this admission requirement, this is the requirement that has been set by the Lembaga. Recently, there is a new um, circular has been released by MET. There, there is no longer um, direct, um, what we call direct uh, enrollment um, due to the COVID pandemic. So we are back to this old uh, admission requirement where you must obtain a CGPA uh, above 3.0 and you need to undergo a practical training for at least six months at an architectural firm after graduation with Lampard 1. Or if you obtain your architecture degree with a CGPA less than 3.0, then you need to undergo uh, for training, uh, you can refer to the schedule, which, which is 12 months. If your CGPA is 2.5 to 2.69, it is 24 months. Below 2.5 is 36 months. And candidates also must uh, undergo a program interview, which will be held before the opening. Uh, and then you must pass that interview as a part of selection process. For international candidates, you must comply with the general requirements as stated in this uh, site A. Okay, and you must obtain a score of 550 and TOEFL. And Basic IELTS and international candidates must pass the English proficiency test conducted by the MLM Language Center. We also have a special requirement for architecture workshop program where the local candidate must be working full time and remain employed during the period of study, except for international candidates, where international candidates must undergo practical training during the period of study. This is uh, the website where you can apply, put in all the information, uh, downloads all the documents and so on, uh, upload the documents and so on, proceed with the processing fees, and you are good to go for the application. 
uh, this is the important dates. Uh, we still open for the applications to this Prodana, uh, for this specific program. Prodana program no longer allowed. For, uh, they have closed the, the application uh, process, but we still open for project uh, for specific program. The latest date is 10 March. And the student registration is on 17 March and 3rd of April. And for semester two session, uh, for the semester two, the session will begin uh, from 20th March and 6th October for DMKL. So for the graduate requirement, okay, you must make sure that you complete a minimum of 72 credits. And the minimum 72 credit must consist of several subject modules, including program core, program elective, university sub, uh, elective module and master's project and you must also obtain a final academic grade at least 3.0 out of 4.0 cgpa for each courses student must obtain a minimum grade b minus which is 60 percent as passing grade and marks so for the tuition fee uh, is RM80 ringgit for the processing fee and then payment of 2000 <laughs> during the registration and payment must be full paid before final exam each semester. And additional fees from six semesters onwards uh, will be imposed uh, on cost or uh, uh, will be imposed on the cost repeat as well. For this tuition fee, uh, for the M market master of architecture offshore program, the total uh, each semester is eight thousand six hundred, and in total it is forty three thousand. As mentioned before, we uh, the the payment will be done three times, two thousand during registration, three thousand three hundred uh, during week eight, and three thousand three hundred during week twelve. <laughs> At the end of the week, to relax. <laughs> we do have solutions for everything. Okay, inshallah. Yeah, well. So you have an option for your financial support. You can go for PTPTN or you can use your, your KWS BEBF because uh, your account could work, but you can be used for this Yulan uh, Punajian. And we also have few students before who have uh, received uh, Financial support from Mara, Bank Rakyat, and so on. That's why the status of a full time program is very, very important in order for you to apply for this financial support. And important notes uh, uh, this program is that the Master of Architecture of your program is that we are offering currently has not been accredited for LAM Part 2. And uh, this accreditation application process has been submitted to LAM, uh, to MAPS, and any approval is subject to their decisions. We are trying hard to, uh, to get, we have, to, we have been preparing a lot of paperwork. We are still trying and inshallah one day we will get this uh, accreditation. And for the Master of Architecture of Future Program that is offered uh, uh, for the 72 credit curriculum with the duration study as mentioned before, is the same program, the same curriculum that has been offered for Master Perdana, which has received LAM part two accreditations. So what you need to do is that after you graduate from this program, you need to apply for a portfolio, uh, portfolio part two. We call it as a portfolio exam part two, where there will be an interview sessions and so on. And then you can pass the program. Uh, previously, uh, recently, I think around November, September or November end of last year, our students, we have around eight or nine students uh, applying for Lampard 2 and all of them has successfully passed for the Part 2 exam. So as what I've mentioned before, the curriculum is the same. We are offering the same. So if you do, if you are doing well and your project the pro that you produce is at par with the Perdana program, there shouldn't be any problem for you to get your part two. Okay, inshallah. <clears throat> All right, so this is the important person and screenshot that you, you can contact for this program. Uh, I myself is the architect, is the program coordinator. 
my assistant program coordinator is uh, Encik Muhammad Firdaus Zakaria. You can always call us or email us if you have any further clarifications or any uh, inputs that you are that you wanted to know about this program. So last but not least is that education that transform UKM is committed to provide the best academic research and outreach programs to enhance lives and prepare students to meet challenges and embrace opportunities. So this is so you can scan the QR code and visit our website, uh, which is the sss.utm.my. We also have the studio exhibition. We also have a YouTube channel and we also have uh, Instagram from this Persatuan Architect uh, uh, among the students. So before we proceed for the, the Q&A session, I would like to invite uh, my, my former students, uh, um, Mr. Falik, for a little bit of sharing sessions on his journey uh, with this Master of Architecture Offshore Program. Uh, he will be graduating soon, just finished his uh, last paper last week, uh, inshallah. Uh, Falik, are you there? Uh, hi. Dengar tak, sorry. Hi. Dengar, yes, I can hear you. Okay. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Very good morning to all. So, as introduced by Architecture, I'm Falik Amran. Uh, just gradu graduated from uh, this course, PCC. So, okay, I'll just uh, make it short lah. So uh, I started this, I joined this program back in October 2020 due to COVID. So why I joined this uh, course because this is the only course yang uh, part-time and they offer part two. So I see this, uh, apa, my enrollment in this course as an investment. So uh, I've been working for this year, like 11 years. So I can't afford to... Uh, tinggalkan my job, so I need I need because I have commitments, so I perlukan kerja and at the same time, I rasa part two is uh, necessary now sebab after working for 11 years, I think our industry the oversupply dengan part one, so all these big companies they abuse that the uh, apa privilege so called to say lah sebab once you part one, your gaji macam tu dah limited lah. You tak boleh pergi mana dah. Macam I, I dah stuck. Tapi, my rezeki, my boss cakap okay lah. You part one, you buat kerja part two, you dapat kerja part two. But, at the end of the day, bila you nak jump here and there, you need that this uh, part two. So, I pandang this course as a, my investment lah for long term. You pay for uh, 46,000. But in return, 10 years, you dah lagi untung lagi banyak. So, you can going to big picture lah. You can going to tadi macam I dengar buat dia macam, uh, mahal. Yes, mahal, betul. I pun struggle nak bayar. Tapi, dah ada je apa platform to you get the sponsors. Okay, in terms of uh, learning, I rasa because we are working adults, so kita hari-hari jumpa consultants, so we are professional. So, I rasa compared to CC dengan perdana, kita ada lagi banyak uh, resources yang kita boleh refer. Macam one of the requirement is a uh, office studio. So, my office ada banyak design boss. So, senang. I every day berjumpa. Tayyah nak tunggu weekends, or nak tunggu lectures, for create. You want me just setengah jam after working hours, jumpa. Or oh, this is my progress here and there. So, different people ada different perspective. Diorang maybe yes, diorang consider more on the technicals. Tapi, I rasa it will uh, give a beneficial apa, inputs lah to your design. Macam I pun, I hari-hari jumpa my boy. Uh, Berak-berak, sembang. Macam buddy-buddy punya apa, talk lah. And previously, I dengan panel dengan Aisha. So what she did untuk I dengan Amir, kita combine dengan perdana student punya progress thesis. So from there, kita share our apa, design dekat Myro. So every time you punya progress, budak perdana you progress, we can see. So we can see the standards of UTM. So kadang-kadang tengok kiasu juga macam, oh dia buat macam ni, aku pun nak buat lah. Or even better, or even more. So dia, dia tak ada limitations on this line. Design is limitless and very subjective. And yeah, I think that is good approach lah. Kita tak adalah shots diri, oh PCC, PCC je. 
perdana-perdana. I think that is one good approach lah. I rasa Asham kena banyakkan lagi benda tu. I think bagus lah I think for me. And how I survive this course, the main point is time management. Yes, time management is, is very crucial lah for this. You kena lah let go one of the things. Macam I dulu I suka berjalan, suka be melari marathon kan. So I kena let go. Okay, two years, aku stop lah kejap for this uh, investment. So, tu tak tu tak betul lah. Uh, two years tak tak sekejap lah lama. Tapi bila dah habis, I rasa puas lah. Puas. Very, very puas. Macam AR, Adrianta pun always uh, highlight. Persisya is a, is a not a student. Just not a typical student. We are a, a mature student lah. Mature student. So, how we think, how we manage everything. And most important, you need to prioritize your your target lah. I mean, yes, betul banyak. I pun baru kahwin yang ada my cosmate yang dulu ada dua orang anak. Dia pun struggle. Say, this is for them. So you need to prioritize this uh, apa? This course yang you nak ambil lah. You bayar mahal takkan you uh, apa buat lah kan tak. Penat memang penat. So how I manage my time balik office. Dua jam every night, I buka je laptop tu. Buat tak buat belakang cerita. Buat, I buka laptop, you... Tengok progress, oh aku nak buat ni, nak buat ni. Kalau tak larat, I, biasa I bangun pukul 4 pagi. Bangun 4 pagi, buat kerja dari grad office. Uh, first, mainly you can enjoy lah the process. Memang sakit, tapi you just embrace the moment, layan. Because at the end of the day, this is for you. This is not for someone else, kan? And yes, support. Support from family, mainly. Macam I dah kahwin, my wife selalu support. And for me, my rezeki, my boss memang support I lah. Contoh you deal lah dengan you punya boss. Okay, you kerja uh, Monday to Thursday. Macam mana? You extra hour. So on Friday kalau tak ada apa-apa, work from home or bagilah uh, for five hours you boleh buat kerja. So I think that privilege for me lah. Maybe, uh, for some, maybe susah. Boss you tak percaya or oh, tu. Tapi, ya. Yeah. So lastly, I nak tu cakap will power lah. Your will power memang kena kuat. Once you have decide to uh, join this course, just just uh, focus, enjoy, and yeah, tahan sikit lah. Okay, uh, ben- additional point yang nak bagi tu, after I graduate uh, last week, I terus dapat dua offer from Singapore and satu from KL. So dia kata lah, Oh, you grab mana? UTM. Okay, UTM. Dia tak kisah dah. Dia tak tanya dah. You berdana ke? You persisir ke? Dia tak tanya. But, the work standard, dia tahu UTM uh, tinggi. So, dia tahu. Okay, you dah grab. Grab, grab lah. Persisir kepada dia. They, they don't really care about that. So, I think you you guys should look this in, uh, apa? bigger picture lah. Jangan tengok, oh, part time, two, two and a half years, mahal tak. But, pandang this as uh, investment lah. I think job opportunities tu akan datang. Dia... Ya, okay, dia pas akan grow lagi, expand lagi, wide lah sampai tu kalau tak buat. I pun misal juga, tak macam tu. Tapi, COVID lah. COVID pun I sambung this course. Kena potong gaji semua kan. So, because our industry is was affected quite right. besar juga. So, yeah, I think ada beberapa orang yang join je, join. I recommend this. Yeah, I think that's about it lah. Yeah, sure. Alright, thank you so much, Fali, for your sharing. I hope you guys uh, take it positively. I do it is quite a huge amount. Yeah, of course. But like what Fali said just now, it is an investment, a good investment. If you want something big, if you want to go big, then you have to make a, a sacrifice. Uh, you have to sacrifice a bit. A bit. Tiket je, 2,000 setengah je. Lepas tu, inshallah, your risky will be uh, better and more. So we open for the Q&A sessions. Any questions from the participants? <clears throat> when is the intake? Yes, next intake is in March. You can apply now. Uh, we will be having the uh, interview next week, inshallah. Next intake will be September. Uh, hello. Hello, yes. Uh, kalau nak tanya, kalau September intake tu masuk in, September juga ke ke Oktober? Uh, tengok kepada jadual. 
keluar I September September, September. October, October, uh, kan? October. Uh, class will start in October uh, registration okay. start in September okay so, so uh, hmm. of offer offer will be open in March dia macam tu gap dia so by by March by March by this March uh, our admission will open the website for September intake so you oh. apply first then you go through the interviews uh, and then after you have been approved you'll be registered in September for the class in October okay so uh, because uh, I'm looking for saya tengok saya tengah tengok ni untuk Juan Mara so dia basically dia open only September every year so tu tu tanya kalau, kalau yang September tu offer tu dapat before September or October. Okay, tu je lah soalan saya. Uh, Nazirul, I pun, I, kalau saya bertambah lah, I pun ambil Mara. Tapi oh, I yeah. start my Mara from semester, the third semester. So oh, the tak, first, tak dapat. Two, ah, so, the first two dapat. semester, I bayar pakai account 2, KWS, and they will reimburse the amount, the exact amount to your account balik. So, uh, uh, kalau you tanya I, baik you masuk March je. So you masuk March, you bayar dulu lah. InsyaAllah ada duit kan. Uh, then bila September, dia buka, you, I apply, dia dapat, then dia reimburse balik the, the first two semester punya fees. So, oh. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, to my advice lah. Janganlah. Right. Right. <laughs> Jadi, jangan tunggu. <laughs> <laughs> Saya baru pergi, baru lima bulan, tak sempat pergi enam bulan kerja tu. So, memang kena tunggu September. Oh. Okay, oh, alright, right, right. Tak kena tunggu September lah macam tu sebab tak cukup enam bulan. Because <laughs> itu uh, lembaga dia, kalau you punya pointer is good, boleh direct masuk. Tapi ah. dia dah baru keluar. Apa tu ini pun baru keluar minggu minggu ni. <laughs> so, saya macam, ah. alamak dah kena tukar kali kali boleh have to follow lah. Uh, uh. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Any other questions? Uh, hi, saya ada soalan. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so I understand ada uh, weekend classes. Mm -hmm. I say for one month ada four weekends. Is it every weekend ada classes or macam mana? Ya, yeah, begitu lah. Okay. Sehingga 14. Saturday dengan Sunday lah. Ya, yeah, Saturday Sunday. Uh, usually buat siang, eh pagi ke, petang ke, malam ke? Kita punya kelas 9 to 5. Okay. Uh, Ifan duduk mana? Saya duduk Kota Damasara. Oh, Kota Damasara ada sekat sini. Okay. Hmm. Let's see you all datang dari JB tak jadi. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other questions? If ada apply ke? Ah, uh, saya belum. Belum. Okay. Uh. So bercadang nak berminat untuk apa itu? Ah, uh, berminat. Ah, so, so uh, saya okay. join session ni. Ah, uh, okay. Alright. Jemput lah. Uh, apply because kita punya last application date is bulan March. Yeah? Okay. Boleh saya tambah sikit ya Arsyah berkenaan dengan bulan ini? <coughs> okay, so masa yeah. registration memang dua ribu lah. Itu memang wajib. Uh, so kena bayar dua ribu dulu baru uh, kita akan uh, apa ni register as student lah. And then uh, pasal bayaran tadi, kita nampak macam ada tiga, tiga kali bayar je kan. Actually sebenarnya uh, boleh bayar tiap-tiap bulan. Uh, nanti apabila student tu dah register, dalam sistem akan ada uh, akan ada satu apps yang boleh student guna, ITM Smart dan student boleh pilih untuk bayar monthly actually dan pilih amount tu sampai habis. So satu semester ada around uh, four to five months. So student boleh plan untuk uh, bayar secara monthly berapa. Secara staggered tu lah. So taklah semestinya kali pertama tu dua ribu, kali kedua tu tiga ribu, kali ketiga tiga ribu. Uh, kali pertama tu wajib dua ribu. Seterusnya tu boleh plan ikut a uh, tempo semester. Terima kasih poin tu siap. Uh, ada soalan lagi tak? Uh, saya ada soalan lagi. Boleh. Uh, what what programs do you offer during the short semesters? Okay, uh, kita akan lihat sekiranya pelajar kita cukup ramai kita akan buka subjek universiti. Uh, pada short semester. Tapi sekiranya kekurangan pelajar because we have certain number required untuk kita buka university subject. So kita akan tawarkan elective subject lah. Elective subject contohnya macam architecture, technology, uh, uh, integrated courses ataupun outreach. 
ataupun architecture computing uh, subject-subject macam tu. Dan ada juga kadang-kadang kita tawarkan subject-subject professional. Contohnya professional practice, uh, apa ni, contract dan sebagainya. Yang subject tiga kredit lah. Uh, so kita biasanya kita akan tawarkan dua subject masa semester pilih. Tapi memang full, full lah dua tahun setengah tu. Okay, is that right, Ifan? Yep, okay. Ada soalan lagi? Uh, lagi satu. Uh, boleh saya tahu uh, siapa pencara-pencara untuk program part time ni? Uh, saya salah orang lah. Ah, uh, saya, uh, 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 saya okay. Saya pergi kat slide tadi eh. Sekejap eh. Okay. So inilah antara pesyarah-pesyarah yang pernah mengajar di uh, offshore program So kita alternate lah uh, selalunya Tapi yang kebiasaan ni akan mengajar saya sendiri Sebagai koordinator dan juga Dr. Lam Pao Chung Yang merupakan our thesis koordinator Encik Azhari pun pernah mengajar, dia selalu baru terima PhD, Dr. Azhari, insyaAllah. Uh, Dr. Izik, uh, Dr. Teknor Atlinda, Kat Chawalai, uh, Associate Professor Atletak Dr. Limit Wah, Dr. Syaifah Pasalwa, he is a uh, expert in urban, okay, Atletak Samsia, uh, yeah, Dr. Tengku Intan, Dr. Fadilina, Dr. Nur Azri, ni adalah wajah-wajah uh, pencara-pencarah yang kita bisa kita see lah, kita sebutkan. Kita juga ada ada kampanye khas uh, pensyarah daripada space yang mana mereka membantu uh, dari untuk you all nak jumpa kerap, you know, kadang-kadang mungkin after work nak jumpa, you can make set appointment. We have three at the moment, which is uh, T.S. Kamaru Arifin, uh, Puan Zian Binti Razali and also Encik Kairi Ziha. Dr. Nur Aziz at the moment dia sedang berada, dia sedang buat uh, visiting di NUS Singapore. So she will be joining us back mm. later lepas dia kembali nanti because she's in a bird. And other than that, practicing architect ni kita bertukar-tukar lah. Uh, for the past two semesters, we have architect Azlan and architect Muhammad Faris and we also have architect Tian Su Ying. Sebelum tu pun kita ada architect Zafarullah. So semua ni kita akan lihat dari punya mereka punya profile, mereka punya experts dalam bidang apa. So uh, because, macam saya terangkan tadi, studio kita ada PT ada tiga kan? Social culture, urban dan juga enviro. So kita akan lihatlah mereka in profile ni uh, banyak buat building-building yang macam mana, expert dan yang mana dan kita akan panggil. Contoh macam arkitek Tian Suyi ni dia more kepada urban. Dia punya expert in urban. Arkitek Zafarullah ni dia punya expert in housing. Arkitek hmm. Azlan dia commercial and uh, private building. Arkitek Faris pun in commercial and private building lah. So kita akan tengoklah uh, semester tu siapa yang layak application uh, pensyara practicing dan sebagainya lah. Ia berubah-ubah jugalah. Oh, okay, thank you. A lot of familiar faces lah. Dulu apa, UTM part one kat UTM. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Surprise, uh, Mr. Zafar pun ada. <laughs> I know him personally. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh. yeah. Kita akan tengok lah macam saya cakap. This one is rotational lah. Kita, mm. kita tengok. Mesti tu kita tengok apa-apa macam tu. Alright, okay. thank you. Kalau ada soalan lagi, uh, maaf saya menjelas <laughs> sebab uh, pukul 11 kita sambung dengan BPP program lain pula. Okay. Jadi uh, insyaAllah kami akan uh, share slide ni ya. Eh. Asya boleh? Slide. Boleh boleh. Ha. Uh -huh. Kami akan share okay, slide. Bagi. Dan nak mohon kerjasama uh -huh. semua yang hadir pada pagi ini untuk isi uh, attendance di link yang diberikan. Supaya kami boleh share lah uh, link yeah. dan juga apa-apa info lah yang latest info regarding this program. Okay. So mohon untuk uh, isi attendance di link yang diberikan di chat box. Dan uh, bagi pihak SPS, kami ingin mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada E.R. Syahida uh, atas taklimat yang diberikan pada pagi ini. Dan terima kasih juga kepada Encik Tadik di atas uh, sharing yang diberikan sebentar tadi. Saya kira banyak uh, yang diberikan Encik, oleh Encik Falik sebentar tadi. Uh, dan uh, memang betul lah seperti yang uh, dimaklumkan oleh Encik Falik. Uh, Bukan, bukan senang untuk belajar part time dengan the family commitment kerja tetapi uh, Rasanya itu adalah investment yang uh, sangat baguslah saya kira. Okey, uh, terima kasih diucapkan kepada semua peserta yang hadir pada pagi ini. Uh, pihak kami berharap uh, jodoh kita tidak berakhir di sini. Uh, dan diharapkan 
apa ni uh, calon-calon uh, apa ni mendaftarlah uh, program Architecture di UTM uh, kerana program ni sangat unik dan satu-satunya program uh, weekend program yang menawarkan uh, part tu betul ya Syeda hmm. Okey, sekian dulu daripada kami. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih. Terima kasih semua.